Hi guys, and today I'm going to be doing a video. This will be my first video on this channel, proper video. So I thought I'd start with, with not all my animals, but all my gerbils and their personalities. So I'm going to start with the ones in this tank. So I'm going to start with my little baby. His name is Coco. He can give you the odd nip, but he's really, really good around other people. Um, describe his personality. Lazy, chubby, but just so friendly. Um, he doesn't really like cuddles too much, but he is very, very lazy. So he kind of just flops in your hand. He does move around a little bit sometimes. He is a little bit energetic. He, sometimes he has the odd splurts of energy. Um, but I bought him and his little friend um on the may the second which is now their kind of birthday and they're I don't know how many months old now but they are quite old now and they are really super lovely and i absolutely love them i have kind of put them up because they were really really skinny but they're really really chubby up now and i absolutely love them say goodbye coco say goodbye say goodbye He's so cute. Now I'm going to start with the other boy. His name is Mocha. Um, you can already kind of tell his personality by his name. Super, super, duper, really. Like, he does sometimes have the odd little laziness. But he most of the time is very very energetic at the minute he's really really lazy but he kind of does live up to his name loco crazy just crazy he just run around the tank all the time you will always continuously see him run around the tank but now he's kind of falling asleep building little cute nests um which is really really cute i love them when they build nests because i bought them this chew thing and they ri completely ripped it apart and made it into a nest for some reason I did buy them this fabric thing but they completely ripped it up and uh, out of that kind of straw kind of stuff because it did have straw in it so that really does make a bed in a nice little nest for them so and they both are a la got oh, so almost jumped down the tank a la, a la, I can't say it, alaguti but this one's a grey alagouti. I didn't say it, I don't think I said it about the other one. They were the normal alagouti, like the ones that you find in the wild, but this one is a grey one. It's kind of hard to tell the difference, but you can, really can. But it's just if you have a quick look, you might think he's Coco. But, uh, um, he is really, really nice, and I just absolutely love them. So they're my boys, they live in a tank, but I'm going to buy them a debt soon. I hope I really, really do. And that's why I'm not going to do any tank tours until they do get the nice debt off. So now I'm going to start with the ones on this tank. Now this, this tank's boys and this tank's girls. So that I don't want them to like have loads of babies really. But yeah. Plus they might fight, so... That is kind of worrying. So now I'm going to start with my girls. They're so hard to catch. Um, I'm going to start with my little snowflake. I only bought snowflake exactly a month ago. Um, so I bought these ones just because I really, really wanted one. And I have a lot, and my mum and dad did kind of promise me more. Um, as you see, they are really, really young and still really, really skinny. So, I really need to put them up. I'm giving them all my like, little sweet, but I still got, give them a lot of nice, like, healthy stuff like fruit, but not too much, because that's fat them too. I do give them loads and loads of, like, their sweets and stuff like that, but they really do enjoy it. But the boys' favourites, these girls like popcorn. They absolutely love the popcorn. Fresh popcorn from Pizza Home, which they love. But my boys like mealworms. I hope I can get these into my ones though. 
Um, Snowflake's personality. She's very, very gentle. I feel like gentle munchkin as kind of her name, Snowflake. Snowflakes are really, really tiny and just cute. And she, I think she's a polar fox. Um, and she's super, super cute. She loves being handled. She does kind of fall asleep in your hands sometimes if you cover her up and just hold her like that. Um, and she kind of does look like that she's got red pigment, but she hasn't. She's got dark pigment. Um, so some people say, oh, she's albino, but there's no such thing as albino in gerbil kind of world. Um, but she absolutely loves being handled and she loves being a cute little pet. And I love her as well as she loves me. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, cutie. Hello. Hello. And they really, really do... Oh, my God. That was a bit of a brain fart then. Um, they really, really do... Um, she really does give you so much affection. And she's just a kind little sweetheart. I'm very, very inquisitive, like the most inquisitive thing you have ever seen in your whole entire life. Um, so that's Snowflake. Stop. Oh, can't get this one. Um, now, now I'm going to go to Spice. Spice is, I don't know what type of colour she is, but she has a mixture of different colours like honey, black and brown. And a little bit of white. And I just love her little foot. It's got like a little honey spot. And it's like the cutest little thing ever. Um, now, Spice. She has random energetic moments. Um, and, but she loves to fall asleep on your hand. She loves to play baby. Um, she just is so adorable and she absolutely loves climbing all over people um she loves just running around and she loves her popcorn um she absolutely loves being handled and just that everyone explain her she's very very kind to her sibling and she kind of does protect her, but she is super duper cute, and I just love her to bits. So that is my little baby girl. Spice. And that's all I can say about her, it's just because I don't know her colour. And I haven't really got to know them ones too much, so it's not a very good idea of what her personality is. Um, so this, that is all my gerbils, I have four. I do have six pets, but I'm thinking to do my, my dog's personality and my cat's personality. Um, I should be doing that soon, it's just because my cat's out and there's no point of doing something if you're not going to do it properly. Um, but in a whole, I love them all exactly the same. There's none better than the other. I treat them as my own, like, literally treat them as my little babies but I really do recommend them as pets they are really really nice but I think you should be eight plus um apart from that they are really great for pets toodles <laughs>